Hey guys, this is Santa Saturn. I was going to do a pick a card reading, but as I laid out the first read, uh, the video messed, actually no, I messed up and, um, I had to reshoot, but I didn't want to get rid of this reading because it was just amazing. So I just wanted to, you know, put this reading out there. Um, all right. So the first card I pulled was reflections and this is a relationship read. Okay. Just to let you know. And, and I've been pulling, I, I also do readings on TikTok. I've been pulling this card like a lot and you see this feminine energy is totally focused on something right now. Almost like she's becoming a part of it. Okay. She's totally focused on the, on this someone herself, someone else. Okay. And it's almost like she is with, I pulled this hair font. It's almost like she's setting an example by doing. Okay. So, so she's, you know, this person standing up. There is stuff written on the chalkboard, and that is what stands, okay? And that's kind of what she's doing. She's instructing, this is what it is. It's not, It's not. you know, what I think. It's a science, okay? This is how it's going to be. And and she's kind of setting by example, okay? Teach, you know, not teaching purposefully, but being who she is and setting an example, all right? And it's almost like with this Knave of, tr uh, knave of Truths, well, it's, it is what it is, but Knave of Swords, bringing in truth, okay, but he's on a game board, okay, that's empty, that he has claimed this energy, which is the feminine energy in this case, um, she's claimed this board, okay, and there's nobody else on it, games are over, she's claimed the board, and there are no more games, okay, all right, then we are moving, we're going to move in now, this is like the masculine energy, and she see, you see like she's looking away from this masculine, okay, and he's upside down, okay, to boot, but she's looking away from this masculine energy. And this is um, upright. It's a respected, you know, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. Um, she's not respecting him right now and she's not embracing him. Okay. So he is in the reverse. All right. The, he, he feels this. He feels this withdrawal. Okay. It's almost like put a spike in his karmic wheel. Okay. His, this is the wheel of fortune upside down. It's almost like putting a spike in it. Okay. And it just uh, stopping. So. Um, and this, he feels locked out. He feels locked out. This is the four of pentacles. This is also, you know, this is also about holding back, but because he's been holding back, he feels locked out. Okay. Also go by the picture. So, you know, there's something, you know, he's not feeling well about this connection right now. And, and it's almost, he's in a stagnant energy, a stop. Okay. And I wanted to pull on this real quick. If you don't mind. I'm very picky about pulling my cards. That's why I shuffle off because I only pull one card at a time. So if more falls, they go back. Um, I want it to be precise. So, all right. So we have divine sensuality and it's almost like in divine sensuality, it says sex, you know, making love erotica. Okay. Did I say the S word? I'm an X. Okay. And it's in reverse. So basically... This like was kind of a lot of pressure on him because like in a divine connection, once you feel that divine part, you know, it's not just hormones. It's a little bit something extra. You know what I mean? Okay. So that really put a, puts a lot of pressure on him. So, you know, that's kind of, he's kind of getting out of anxiety about that because that's not really, you know, it's not being pressured right now. Okay. And um, this is kind of giving him strength. Okay, to think about, think about making a choice because there's a two of swords here and that's a choice he has to make. And this, you know, this is, you know, whatever, maybe he stopped having sex with somebody. That could be it too. And that's bringing him out of anxiety. Okay, but he is getting the strength to at least look at this choice he has to make. Okay, right now, He feel like his, he feel like, he feel, he, <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of my coffee real quick. Hold on. <laughs> he feels like his power was taken away. All right. He feels like his power was taken away. When, up, when it's upright, it's a surge of power, ups on energy, accelerating movement. In reverse, it's removal of power. Okay. It's like you feel like your power was taken away. So this is putting a huge burden on him okay but you see like the crown here is lit up all right the crown is lit up 
He's kind of rubbing his hands together and he's deep in thought. Okay, so there is something going on there. This burden that's been put on his back does not feel comfortable and it got him thinking. Okay, and then we have the two of pentacles in reverse. So that is making a choice. And I'm going to keep pulling on this because this is a short reading. So that is making a choice. Okay, so... Brian says real quick, I'm going to put this stuff up here so I have them if I need to refer back. All right, so what is happening next? All right, I'm going to pause while I shuffle because I told you how anal I am, so. Whatever this feminine has been focused on, okay, has given her this, like, pure potential energy, this, like, roar of energy. That's what it's really called. And and it's, like, it's this wild energy pushing her in a direction, okay? And she's not keeping it a secret, you know? This is the moon in reverse. She is not keeping it a secret, okay? She is, she will tell anybody <laughs> you know, in this beautiful experience she's having over here or whatever she's drawn to or got pulled into, okay? Now, the masculine energy over here that is felt left locked out is really trying to explore, okay? Explore, like, other ways. This is really starting to, like, open his mind. It's almost lit a fire under his butt to, like, move forward in another direction to, like, open his mind, like, go outside of his box, Okay, you see how now he's looking into other worlds, all right? He's looking into other worlds, so he's looking into other things he normally wouldn't have looked into, okay? So whatever this feminine is doing has really pushed this masculine into other worlds because he's had to because he felt so left out, okay? But still this masculine, okay, is still, uh, look, two of swords. This is Indy. You notice he's... He's juggling here. And the thing about it is, the thing when Indy comes out, Indy tries to stall about making decisions. So I don't know if you've seen the labyrinth with David Bowie, how he has the crystals and, you know, he does it. That's what kind of Indy does. Indy kind of takes his crystals and, you know, will will make you focus on the crystals so you're not paying attention to what he needs to be doing. Okay. So, and again, we got, he is of making choices. You see the two crystals in his hand. And then we have the two of wands, which is still making a choice. Two of swords. We got Indy here, who is the one about making the card about the fairy about making choices. And, and then we have the two of wands. So this, he is still really struggling about making a choice. So what he's going to be doing now, now that he was in, remember, he was in this ten of one energy. What spirit has done has really, this is Epona's wild daughters. Okay. A, her name is Dorcha. She sent in, okay, the fairies send her in when wisdom is need to be sought. And not in a normal, like, I'm going to study type way. This is wisdom through darkness, okay? Dorcha is sent to make you look at your shadows and your own inner self, okay? And that, you know, but you see she's lit up. She, she's doing her job and she's she's helping, you know, this, this masculine energy ascend. And she's fi finally... Sending Dorcha in to help him look at his inner shadows. Okay. And you see how she's taking this person and she's leaning on and making him look down. That's what she does. Okay. So he is going to be, in a sense, starting his true healing. Okay. This is the singer of healing. And you know, like you to really start your healing, you've got to look at your shadows, right? To not just feel better, but to truly heal, heal those wounds. Okay. So uh, so he is going to be, this is, you know, the singer of healing. So that he is starting his true healing now. <clears throat> and it's almost like with this four of swords that I noticed, these swords are forcing her to lay down and rest. You know what I mean? They're like, if you get up, you're going to die. You know what I mean? So that's what I feel like the masculine is going to be feeling. He's going to be feeling kind of having to lay down, having to rest, having to really be in his emotions, almost being forced to into this healing because he's going to be shown, you know, his inner self. So it's almost like he's going to be forced to really rest right now. Okay. And I'm just going to pull one more just oracle from the from the mermaids to see if they have anything else to say. 
And I'll try to pull it on camera if it doesn't take me 10 minutes to pull one card. Oh, there it is. Air. Um, breathing deep, entering into life, exchanging of life, bringing life of life, bringing energies. But it was in reverse. So this is not ready to happen yet. Okay. But um, he is starting the healing process. This masculine in this reading. He is starting the healing process. So I hope that helped. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Namaste.